Hi, this is Claire with Backcountry Buddies Dog Training, and I'm here with our first video in our puppy series. Um, we have Trout here. Trout is a little Belgian Malinois puppy, and I want to show you what is the very first thing you should teach your puppy um, when you're starting any sort of training program. What we see quite often, um, the difference between those that hire professional dog trainers and those who try to do it at home is they're missing this one key foundational element, and that is what is called a marker. A marker is jargon for um, a word or a noise that captures the moment in which your puppy is doing something exactly right, exactly the way that you want them to do it. Um, we don't ask the dog to do anything. It's more of just showing the puppy what training is and how it works. Um, and it can be a great word in your back pocket for the rest of the life of your dog um, if you do it correctly. So the way that you quote unquote load a marker or the way that you make a marker meaningful is you must provide definition for it. So um, when you choose your word for trout, the Malinois, we are going to use yes, the word yes, and the definition of yes for the rest of her life is morsel of delicious food. So um, and to teach her what the definition is, all we're going to do is say the word and put a treat right in front of her face. Not asking her to sit, not making her lay down, not ordering her around at all. This is purely we want her to hear the word yes and think something good's coming. So let me show you how we're going to do that. And Trout hasn't used this word, in, uh, uh, heard this word in this context yet, so this is completely new. So, yes! So, fellas out there, you notice that I am at an octave that is very impressive. That is because puppies will always listen to your tone first um, versus what necessarily you're saying. So if you are a male and you have a low voice, you need to raise that octave so that the puppy knows they're doing something right and not doing something scary or wrong um, necessarily. So. We have an angry cat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. One mechanic that you may not have noticed or a mechanical thing is you want to say the word, but you definitely want there to be a pause between when you say the word and when the treat comes. This is so that an association can be created. You don't want to be going, yes, and putting the treat right in front of her face. You want there to be what they call a bridge over the word and the, the treat, essentially. Um, yes. Yes. So. How you're going to know that the word is loaded up. Trout is already doing this where you, I say the word and she tilts her head. So learning is happening. She's curious. She's like, I've heard that before. Something happens when, when that word comes out. Um, the next step would be, say Trout were out running around over here. Let's see if I can get her interested elsewhere. Yes! The next step would be, she hears me say something, she turns and comes around. Yes! Yeah, good. She noticed right there. Um, and then the final step would be she's interested in something else. She comes running and she, you notice she's licking her lips. So this is pure Pavlovian basic textbook stuff. So the bell rings um, and then food comes and in between there salivation happens. Um, the reason that this is important is because you can have the puppy doing all sorts of things just following food forever and ever, but how do they know exactly when something is right? Well, I'll tell you when. Yes, right there. So we mark it. So I hope you found this helpful, and please don't skip this. You're going to want to skip it, and maybe feel stupid after 
three or four days. Keep doing it. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave any comments. And we will be back with Trout next time for our second installment in our puppy series. Thank you. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Hi, this is Claire with Backcountry Buddies Dog Training. I'm here. <laughs> Trout was like, what? Um, <laughs> short <over. laughs> Hi, this is Claire with Backcountry Buddies Dog <laughs> What do you have?